So the next review would be about uh, Monsanto, about Decalp. Uh, we have a lot of hybrids, even the Kalb is not the strongest uh, in the Hungary, however, presented with a huge number of hybrids. So we will check uh, them right now in these conditions. Conditions are the same everywhere and we will see how these hybrids... And uh, we starting from 40-31, uh, so uh, early maturity group, uh, we see how this hybrid is looking like. It's quite early maturity uh, to Hungary. However, for growers who would like to harvest dry uh, this hybrid, it, it's, uh, it's quite okay. I would say that uh, husk is dry and generally only few uh, green leaves we have here. Uh, quite uh, not, not so tall plants, but not low typical for this maturity group. We see this uh, size of ear, so actually this is not bad hybrid, I would say for this maturity group looking quite good this hybrid. The next one is the 4109, also looking dry, even probably more dry than the previous hybrid. I would say that more or less, more or less the same, even lower positioning of uh, of the ear so uh, yeah also i would say looking good maybe ears a little bit smaller however uh, very very similar genetics i would not be surprised if uh, this hybrid has the same uh, parental components 4125 compared to few previous is looking differently i would say that this hybrid looking more green what what we can see and uh, yes when we are going inside we see that this this one is much more greener but what i really like this hybrid i think that this would be the one of the best performing hybrid look on this size of the ear so it's really good also what i like that husk becoming to be dry already so uh, the hybrid is coming to this uh, moisture level, ready to be harvested. Of course, not uh, ready yet, but still, I would say, look and size of these ears. Each ear is looking is looking great. Even sometimes, where population is low, we see uh, smaller. Oh, we see second ear as well. However, very nice hybrid. Oh, Deca is uh, 3391, uh, also looking green right now. Actually, I like uh, Deca starting from 4. In my view, for this location, for Hungary, it's much better than something that's starting from 5. You can see this kind of ears that we have. Actually, they're, they're huge, very chunky. And look at this. Look at this also very good okay this one is smaller but this is also okay uh, very similar to previous quite tall uh, plants so also uh, another another good hybrid from DKS actually I don't understand why DKS has so many hybrids in this in the same maturity group that are very similar to each other but probably this is how company try to be presented on the market DKS have like on the uh, 4231, uh, also still green uh, on, on the field. So uh, what we see is that, yeah, this in this part of the field, crowns uh, were, were working very hard, but still we see very good, very nice size of the ears. We see green plants and we see Wow, very, very big and chunky ears. I would say that this is looking very good for me. It's more than 10 tons with a good population. Here we don't have big population of plants. Maybe we are about 60,000. Uh, however, I'm still expecting to have very good yield because look at this pollination. Look how good this hybrid. 44, 33. 
also very similar genetic that we already observe but i would say that this one is much greener we have dry husk uh, we have more green uh, here but actually looking looking very good we have a lot of tillers here as well uh, maybe because of low population as well very nice fecundation and very nice ears actually the kalb is showing us like every time very good and reliable performance take into consideration that this uh, season is another challenging season in Hungary and that would be actually the future that all the seasons would be challenging right now and uh, genetics uh, should be prepared for that uh, 47 12 and 47 17 are placed uh, next to each other I like this opportunity because uh, 47 17 is very popular hybrid uh, in Ukraine uh, and uh, 47 12 is actually replacement it's like new generation of the same hybrid maybe they change uh, one of parental lines for that so uh, really I would like to check uh, the difference inside so we have uh, on top we have green plant if we, if we go down we have very nice ears so this is actually looking very good we see that ears are dropping moisture very good that's why they are not erect anymore they are looking down and looking this so i'm uh, really really like uh, this the, the, this hybrid 30, 47 12 and uh, when i go back to previous generation 47 17 i'm also very curious to check how this is compared to the new one if new hybrid is really better than the previous but i would say that in general we don't have a significant difference looking very much the same maybe 47 12 is more early uh, maturity group right now because uh, uh, we were, we saw more dry husk on that but in the end these two hybrids probably are still very good next one is a 4519 Vaxi uh, composition uh, let's say so uh, 4519 general it's a very nice uh, hybrid very popular especially in Ukraine farmers like it like it very much it was a market leader for long uh, and uh, that's why now we see in, in the Vaxi variety let's say and uh, yeah we see that here we have more fusarium that uh, yeah we see also some uh, insect damage as well however it's a still very good hybrid maybe it's not so good like some previews that we observe but in general i would say that this hybrid is still able to perform but probably 4590 would be move out from uh, portfolio very soon and uh, but waxy uh, hybrid will stay and will perform because obviously there are customers who would like uh, to buy this hybrid here we see difference in a uh, green color uh, 48 97 uh, showing us uh, a lot of leaves uh, above the ear so probably it's uh, also a good hybrid for silage and uh, we have quite oh, quite big big uh, ears here i would say that probably that would be another strong hybrid that can perform very good in this area as well uh, next one is uh, 4933 a little bit lower than uh, 4897 but uh, but same green uh, however uh, i would say in terms of yield potential it's still good it's still good look at this look at this ears of course here population of plants is not the best but look how well positioned the ears very similar to each other so i really like how this hybrid is is looking like very good plants very good genetics very dry husk you can see even it's quite uh, okay maturity group for hungary 
probably it's about 450 uh, foul group. However, I think showing very good performance. Of course, we will take to account this hybrid looking very good. Now it's uh, 4943. Uh, also very similar to 4933. Only one number difference of so possible that we have very similar genetics. Here, of course, we don't have a, a very good population on this field. Still, it was a quite uh, challenging conditions over here. Like every time we have birds, we have flooding. This, this field did have a hail, so it was everything possible. It's typical farmer conditions in which uh, we can see the yield. However, look at this. Look at this. It's still very good. Really, this decalb starting from four, I really like, especially when it's going to a little bit higher maturity group. It looks amazing. I'm really curious about these hybrids. And now we have decalb starting from five, 51, 48. And we see difference. This is green. This is really green. And we will go inside just to check how it looks like and still the plant is green huskies huskies dry very important that corn need to be started to dry from the husk and we see also big ears very good and huh, of course very nice size of the cobs size of the ears also very good potential look at this pollinated up to top on this climate with uh, really minimum of water not the record one in Hungary but minimum of water still you can see that this is green plants they are still alive so also very good 51 82 also green a little bit lower than 51 48 going inside to check I see that this one is tiller in so much look at this a lot of a lot of tillers we have here it's even uh, even difficult to walk uh, inside this corn i would say but uh, yeah even the, the plants are not so tall so it's like about two meters so they are not so high and if i check i see very very yellow very yellow kernels we have here so you can see and uh, not the biggest size of the ear, but still very good manage. It would be not the best hybrid here, but I would say that this is this is quite quite okay. Very interesting hybrid, not tall, but looking very good, very even, very nice. Fifty two zero six, also green, a little bit higher than previous one. Husk becoming to be dry still you can check all the plant is very very green maybe it's a little bit higher than two meters and uh, and yeah it's still very good cops we can observe here so, yeah, some fungi is here maybe not so not the biggest cob we ever saw but also nice nice corner really looking forward to check how uh, pioneer will look compared to this in the same maturity group we also have here a lot of pioneer genetics 5830 another green hybrid also not so tall about two meters what is interesting here is that we have absolutely green husk here mostly everywhere okay some of them where population is big, uh, already dry, uh, a lot of tillering. But look at how plant is is healthy and uh, accumulating moisture. And uh, what I really like is that also this this size of the cob. So it's typical good. Of course, it would be not the best here, mainly because uh, you know that late maturity group require more resources require more water more nitrogen only in such case it can perform well in other cases better to consider more early maturity group 
if you don't have 200 kilo of nitrogen. 5810, absolutely green <laughs> hybrid. It would be interesting after to compare photos uh, next to each other on this day. Today is 10th of uh, September. This field is planted uh, in the middle of May, so not so early. I would say that it's really green. I don't know when it will go uh, down with, uh, with the moisture, with everything. Uh, but also what really uh, that uh, performance level everywhere is, is not the best. Yes, we have big ears, but some of ears are even smaller. Again, because later maturity group need more resources, need more nitrogen and more water uh, to be able to perform a good uh, a good yield everywhere so I would say even maturity group is higher this hybrid would be not the top performer however very good genetic very even field but I think here we also have very good population so yeah maybe maybe it will be a good hybrid at least we'll have data of that so I'm really curious to compare Uh, so we have finished with uh, DKS. It's a great hybrid. Actually, I didn't uh, find any failure. Uh, each hybrid is very good. Uh, what for me interesting would be after to observe is difference between early maturity and uh, late maturity group. Is there any need for that? Because as I see uh, decal starting from four, uh, looking not worse than the cup starting from five even better sometimes so I would be really curious about these results uh, Please uh, subscribe and check our results at seed online. We will have a lot of uh, interesting information there